G'day folks, it's late afternoon on the Ovens River in Wayne Gravatta. I've just snuck down for a twilight bait fishing session. I've got cheese on that rod and worms on that rod. Hoping to catch a Murray Cod or a Yellow Belly, but I'll be happy with anything. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Still a bit of a nibble on this rod here on the left. I didn't see much, I just looked up and my rod was bouncing around. It might have even been a shrimp. That was the first decent bite that I've had all night. Here it goes. Something just, it's something still there. There's something playing with it because the line's just gone a little bit, just a little wee bit of movement in the line. Bit of a nibble on the other rod now. Time, you run down to it and it bloody stops. How did I miss that? <coughs> I missed him again. Something just playing with me worms there. Shit. Getting really good bites on the worms, but every time I get out of my chair and come down here, I stop biting. There he goes. Missed him. So close. Yet so far. But it's straight back in. I reckon it's only a matter of time before I hook a fish. Because I'm getting lots and lots of bites now. I wasn't getting any earlier, and now I'm getting quite a few. I've just missed yet another bite in this room. There he goes. They're good bites. You now I'm sitting here right on top of my rod. Well, I'm sitting on the dirt next to my rod. Yeah, something's playing with it. Something's playing with it. Gonna catch a fish here in a second. I can feel it coming. Here he goes. Oh, I still missed it. Whatever it is, it's very small. I've still got a bit of worm on there, so I'll chuck that back out. Alright folks, I've missed the hookup, but I've got a small fish. And small it is, it's tiny. I literally just put it back in the water as a little yellow belly or a little Macquarie perch. It's a little trout cod. I'm going to bring him over here. I'll make my hand a bit easier over here. I have been getting heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of little bites that I haven't been able to hook up. And that there is the culprit. A tiny weeny little trout cod. <laughs> After all that, I was hoping it might be a nice yellow belly. But anyway, I put the line back in and you never know. A nice yellow belly might come along if I'm lucky. Right, a couple of fresh janjuck worms. And I put it straight back out in the same spot. Something's biting my cheese here very gently in my other rod. These small fish seem to really come out when the sun goes down. I must be too scared to come out during the uh, daylight hours. I feel safer when it starts getting dark, I think. Here he goes. He's playing with it. Got him. Right. Now it's another small fish, but it's bigger than the last one. Have I got a perch or have I got a cod? I have got a perch by the looks of it. Now I've got another cod. Another... Another trout cod, but about four times the size of the last one. Alright. Here we go, folks. Nice little trout cod on the Jan Duck worms. I understand this video is probably a bit grainy because it is low light and I've got a polarizer filter on. Now, I'll throw him back out in the water. I'll get my camera back on my head. He's just pinned in the top of the mouth there. Trout cod. See you later, mate. Stop stressing. He had his gills flared out because he's excessively stressed. But now he's breathing a sigh of relief. There he goes. Beautiful. Right on sunset. Two trout cod. And I've got about 10 minutes left to try and catch a third fish. Alright, current time. 10 past 6. Because daylight savings is over. 
and it's dark at tea time. I've got about 10 minutes left. This is my last hurrah. My last chance. This is my last chance. Can I catch fish number three? Just had another little sniff on the worms here. Can I get that trout caught a hat trick? There's a little nibble. There's a little nibble. There's something just playing with my worms. I don't think it's a trout cod because they normally hit a bit harder, though, even the real small ones. There we go. He's a bit more of a bite there now. Missed him. Got to get the bait straight back in. There's not a second to lose. My God, he took nearly on me worms. If there was silver perch in here, I'd say that was a silver perch bite just because it took me worms so quick. <laughs> Here he goes, he's biting it now while it's sinking. Got it, it's got it, it's got it, it's got it. Something out there. The truth is out there. This fish is out there. I'm out there. I'm not content with where that landed, that was a bit too far. Got him. Right folks, I've hooked up. This one's a little bit bigger again, but I've missed the hookup. I was having a technical glitch with my camera and it's another cod. This is another trout cod and it's bigger again. Similar to the last one. Bit of a fluke to this one. I'll hold him up and show you. You might not be able to see it. What if I hold it against the sky? You might see a silhouette. Little trout cut of around 30 centimeters, not even that, 25 centimeters. See you later, mate. Funny story. I cast my line out, thought, no, I'm not happy with that. And I picked it up to reel it in. And when I picked it up, I said, got him. There was a fish on the end. I must have picked it up just as he bit and just fluked the, the hook up. But then I thought I wasn't filming, so I stopped the camera. And then realised that I was filming, so there's a bit of a break in the scenery, but you get the idea. Anyway, folks, it's April, daylight savings is over, it's tea time, it's getting dark, I'm going home. I've caught the trout cod hat trick. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.